Good afternoon here from the annual meeting in San Diego. We're pleased to be here with Dr. Eric Donenfeld. Thanks, Eric, for being with us this afternoon. Thank you for inviting me. It's always a pleasure speaking with you as well. Uh, thanks, Eric. Uh, you know, we've seen over the years several iterations of presbyopia correcting IOLs, and, and each iteration has seemed to improve somewhat on the prior generation, but we still are faced with a lot of challenges, even with the most modern presbyopia correcting lenses. What are some of those challenges that we face and, and how can we overcome that? Well, when I first started doing presbyopic IOLs using a multifocal lens more than 15 years ago, I thought it was a wonderful technology, but that they would be gone by this time because the intrinsic problem with a multifocal or an EDOF lens is they split light and some of the light goes to near, some goes to far. So there's always a loss of contrast sensitivity, which results in glare and halo. And while these lenses are excellent and they're so much better than they were just a few years ago, uh, we still need a better lens that doesn't split light, that gives us distance and reading in a reliable way. But there are also other problems with lenses. Uh, the capsule bag contracts, the lens can tilt, uh, the lens can uh, move forward or backwards causing refractive problems. The vitreous face can come forward resulting in floaters and finally the posterior capsule can opacify. All these problems can be resolved with uh, new generation technology which is coming. Well, well, tell us a little bit more about this, Eric. You're keeping me on edge. What is the, what is the new generation technology that, that we'll see coming uh, soon? Well, what's exciting is that there is a new generation of IOLs coming that are accommodating lenses. These are fluid-based lenses that are really biomimetic. And what I mean by biomimetic is that they reproduce the natural lens with an artificial lens. So you take the cataract out the normal way that you would, and then you insert a lens into the capsular bag. The lens that I've been working is called Juvene. It's by a company called LensGen. And this lens consists of a two-piece module lens. The base is a very soft, pliable silicone. It fills the capsular bag, and then we put the optical component on top of it that snaps into place. Because the silicone is so soft and so flexible, that when the ciliary muscles contract, the lens will round up, creating accommodation. And we'll be presenting our results of one month data, and we're looking forward to uh, one year data coming, uh, coming soon. And the name of the study is called the Grail Study, because this really is the holy grail. Mm -hmm. And the results show that we're getting a reliable three diopters of accommodation without splitting light and without glare and halo. That's really great, Eric, because I think for the longest time there's been some debate about the true mechanism of presbyopia. Does it involve ciliary body weakness? Does it involve hardening of the lens? Um, it seems that based on this technology, there is at least enough ciliary muscle power uh, at the presbyopic age to allow for, for three diopters of accommodation, which is really all one should need, I would think. Well, that's exactly right, is that we're seeing a nice effect with, the, with this lens. Uh, the lens does move in the eye. We have uh, uh, OCT documenting that the lens is moving. Uh, the question is, how long will this movement last? Uh, we've been doing this lens for almost four years now, so we have four-year follow-up. But the latest iteration, which has been done outside of the United States, is the final iteration, and we'll be now starting FDA trials here in the United States where we'll, we really will learn a lot more about the lens. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, this is such a fascinating technology. I'm always so glad to, to hear the latest and greatest about lens technology from you. Thanks again for sharing your expertise today, and thank you to our audience at home. Thank you very much, and, and iWorld, thank you for having me.